workers, including many in our area, went 35 days without paychecks. The government has temporarily reopened, but one Brooklyn business owner continues to help those who are being affected. Meet our latest New Yorker of the Week, a barber footing the bill for some of his longtime customers. It's been 21 years since Gustavo Montenegro opened the doors of the Head Rush Barber Shop in Greenpoint. He says the community embraced him from day one, and some of his customers have been coming in for cuts ever since. Everybody's my friend over here. Because of that, the man known to his friends as Goose says when one of his longtime customers sat in his chair a few weeks back, he got a haircut on the house. That was an easy decision because the customer was a TSA employee working without pay. He had come in and he asked me if I could give him a free haircut because, um, you know, times are hard. He wasn't getting his checks. So for me, it was a no-brainer because he's like family. That was the moment when Montenegro decided to offer free cuts to all federal employees during the government shutdown. And although the government has been temporarily reopened, Montenegro will continue the special on Tuesdays and Wednesdays until lawmakers reach a long-term budget deal. All he asks is for proof with the federal ID. He says the extra 30 bucks in somebody's pocket could make a difference as these employees get back on their feet. We can't come close, so giving them exactly what they deserve, what they need, but all we can do is just provide them with I guess haters. I mean, who doesn't like to get haters? Montenegro's goodwill comes as no surprise to his colleagues. Goose is an awesome person. He'll, you know, take his jacket off to give it to anybody. He's that kind of person. He's really good. He's like an older brother to me. And it's the same feeling Montenegro has about his customers. We're just here to serve everybody, make everybody happy, and just, you know, in these times that are bad, you know, hopefully we can put some smiles on people's faces. So for cutting the stress for some of these federal workers, Goose Montenegro is our New Yorker of the Week. You know, somebody like Goose 